In this video, we want to show you the linked list class inside of the Java Collections framework. And I've shown you a general idea of where it is inside of that framework. It sits next to the array list class. It's an implemented class that realizes the list and collection interface. The linked list class has quite a few methods, and I've tried to group them logically. And the first grouping are the add methods of the linked list class. And you can see here that first we simply have add, which will append it to the end of the list. And then we have add, which puts it in the list if you specify an index. And you say, well, that's crazy. Linked lists are not supposed to have indexes. Well, the Java linked list class does have an index, and you can use it, as you'll see, throughout this description of the linked list class. Next, we have add all, which allows you to take a collection like an array list and append it to the end of the linked list. The next add all does the same thing, except for it says, hey, I want to start at the third index of the linked list and add the collection starting there. Finally, we have add first and add last. These two allow you to add a node or an element to the front of the list or add an element or a node to the end of the linked list. The next grouping that we're going to look at in the linked list class is the accessor or get methods of the linked list class. What these three do is get some kind of element inside of the linked list. And you can do it by index, which again might seem weird to you, but you can do it using the linked list class. And then get first and get last. That will get the element inside of the head node or get the element inside of the tail node for get last. So we've just looked at the add and get or accessor methods, and now we're going to look at the remove methods of the linked list class. And the remove methods of the linked list class remove a node from the linked list. Remove removes the head or first element of the linked list. Remove with an index will remove an item at a certain index inside of the linked list. Remove object will remove the first occurrence of the specified element in the list. So it's going to look for an object that you're saying. So if you had a list of strings and you were looking for the word cow inside of there, it would remove cow from the list. And if it won't remove it, it'll say false. And then we have two similar ones, which are remove first and remove last. It'll remove the head element or the tail element from the list. And then remove first occurrence and last occurrence. These two are similar. Also, it will remove the first occurrence of cow. So if you have multiple cows in the list, you want to remove the first occurrence of cow in the list. It'll do that. Or the last occurrence in the list. And then we have a miscellaneous grouping of methods of the linked list class. The first one, clear, it'll remove all the elements of the list. Contains will say, hey, cow is in your list or cow is not in your list. True or false being a Boolean return method. Index of, which will say, hey, this element is at the fourth index in the linked list. Or if it's not in there, it'll return negative one. Same thing with last index of, except for it'll show you the last instance instead of the first instance. Or if it's the same, if there's only one in the list, it'll return the same for both of them. Size will say, hey, how big is my linked list? And then finally, we have to array with an overloaded to array method. What the first one does is it'll take the elements of the linked list and put it into an object array. You see that it returns an object array here. And the second one, let's say that you have a linked list that contains strings using generics and you want to keep the type and that'll allow you to do it. And it will keep the type and return, if you have a linked list of strings, it will return an array of strings. And then the last methods that we're going to go over might seem out of place inside of the linked list class. We have element, offer, offer first, offer last, peak, pop, and push. You say, why in the world are those inside of the linked list class? Don't queues and stacks use those methods? Well, yes, they do. What we're going to find out later in another video is why linked lists are often used, especially with queues, and why it's an effective way to implement a queue. And so, as I said, we'll explore this relationship later. I just wanted to make you aware that they are there inside of the linked list class. So the linked list class has several methods, but they can be logically grouped into the add methods, the remove methods, the access or get methods. And then there's a few miscellaneous methods that allow you to do common things with a data structure. And as this slide shows, it has some stack and queue methods, which we will get into in another video.